Hi Cancer! Welcome to your mid-September 2020 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. Cancer, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're safe and healthy whenever you're guided to watch this video. Before I get started with the reading, I do want to answer the number one most frequently asked question I receive on this platform. Do I accept orders for personal readings? And the answer is I do not. However, I do hold a monthly contest where I select one lucky subscriber to win a free 30-minute personal reading from me. If you're interested in checking out how to enter for this contest, just open up the description box and you'll find the rules of entry there. Alright Cancer, let's get started. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement you feel guided to watch for the sign of Cancer. This will not resonate with every cancer that watches this video. Messages are said for those who need to hear them the most, and that's how my intuition and my guides prioritize the messages, messages I provide during this reading. So, if this reading is not for you, cancer, I suggest checking your other signs in different placements, because depending on the planetary aspects in the sky, those signs may re resonate with you more at this time than your sun sign does. Also, Cancer, this reading is general, where I am tapping into a collective of thousands of energies. Therefore, not every message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I do have to say, Cancer and Cross Watchers, it's important to remember that energy is fluid. Therefore, you may feel like I'm describing a certain scenario or situation in the reading where the roles are flipped and reversed, and you're more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles, should that be more specific to your situation. But because this is a Cancer reading, I will make Cancer the main subject of the reading. Alright Cancer, let's get started. Alright Cancer, let's get started. So Cancer, I'm going to ask for an energy in or around your energetic field to come through that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you. I'm going to ask how they feel about you, what they think about you, what they like about you, what they don't like about you, what they like about this connection, and what they don't like about this connection and what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you, Cancer. Huh. <laughs> hmm. Well, this is interesting. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Wands energy, Sagittarius energy. Some of you could be connected to a Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your chart. I feel this is very past energy, and I'll explain during the cards, but at one period of time, things were going really well. Things were accelerating. Things were really passionate. Messages were being exchanged. It really, you felt, Cancer, that something was really, really going to come out of this and go somewhere with this. Some of you could be at a long distance from each other, were in a long distance relationship. Maybe some of you met online. Um, or met through like a really brief encounter where you guys just added each other's social medias or gave each other their phone numbers and you guys didn't stop talking after a certain period of time. But I gotta say that something changed. Something changed quite drastically where it went from everything was going good, messages, a lot of communication, the desire and the passion to where someone pulled back. Someone pulled back and someone moved on. But the other person is not really believing that this is over or this other person is still trying to resist and trying to deny 
their feelings for you, their temptation for you, their desire for you, but I feel cancer that someone in some way did you wrong big time. And that's what caused you to retreat. That's what caused you to walk away. And what really hurt you because with this eight of wands energy in the background in the past, like you really thought that this is something that could go somewhere, that this was something that you believed in, that maybe they made you feel like you kind of got fooled in a way because you got caught up in the passion and the desire. But I, I just feel like someone felt like they really got played. And someone walked away, someone had enough, someone said, you know, I deserve better maybe even. And whoever got walked away from is really holding back from reaching out because I think someone knows that this person is really not going to give it another chance because it was toxic. It was, for some of you, it was toxic, but for others, you just felt like it was deceptive. It was not right for you at all. Some of you may even have moved on to someone else or looking for someone else to be more of a committed, dependable, loyal foundation to where one day you could end up getting married. Like the cancers I'm picking up on are looking for something serious, looking for something loving and kind and considerate and you just feel like this person just completely played you for some out there. But they're still wanting you, Cancer is the thing. And I think a lot of them do recognize what they did to you was wrong. But they still have that desire for you, that intention of still setting their energy out to you, letting you know in a very psychic, telepathic, or even still watching your Instagram or your social media, and if you blocked them and all that, they're still keeping an eye on you in some way, whether they're adding fake profiles to your account or um, asking around about you, looking at other people's accounts to look at your account type of thing. Like they're still ha have a desire and there's guilt. But let's go ahead and get into it. How they feel about you, Cancer, the Hermit card. Virgo energy. Some of you could have Virgo in your chart. You could be connected to a Virgo. They feel that you're withdrawn. They feel that you're isolated. They feel that you are keeping your space from them. And they feel that they have to do the same for you. I feel as if for some of you, they definitely tried to reach out in the past, but you just were not giving that same energy or you may have just completely ignored them. And a lot of them feel like it's better not to reach out to you. They feel like you have really been through it with them. That you're tired, you're exhausted. And that you just, you know, if it's not completely over, you definitely just need some time to yourself to recuperate, to recharge. They don't see you being very active in their life or actively trying to reach out to them or pursue them in any way. But I feel that you're doing this way to protect yourself here. To protect your energy, to protect your light. And I feel, even for some of you, this person betrayed or deceived you multiple times, not just once. And, you know, there was finally like a last straw for you. Where you just had to say, I, I need to be alone. I can't do this anymore. I'm done. I don't think you've been with anyone else since. I mean, some of you, yeah, but I mean, you're still trying to recover from that. So even if you have been talking to someone else or been interested, it's like a part of you is still recovering from whatever this person did. And the damn thing about it, Cancer, is that I feel like it took you walking away for them to realize what exactly they lost and the potential that they could have had with you. You definitely, for some, blocked this person um, or just completely just haven't responded to them. You're trying to just forget about them. But they feel like they can't get to you and that you wouldn't maybe even give them a chance should they try. 
but really you're just recovering, you're just healing. What they think about this connection and what they think about you, the devil card. Capricorn energy. Some of you have Capricorn in your chart. You could be connected to a Capricorn. So, different messages for different groups of you. Some, this is that desire. This is that uncontrollable want, base ego level need to still have you in their life in some way, even if it's just to feed their own ego, even if it's just for a toxic means, even it's like they can't help but still be somewhat, I wouldn't say obsessed per se, but I'd say definitely still wanting that desire of just having you, but not in a way that's very fulfilling, in a way that's kind of controlling in a way that's kind of draining in a way that is just to have you just to say that they can still have you in their life the devil card could also be a very very sexual energy um this is just true sexual desire that they have for you i mean the sex was intense it was hot it was heavy it was the best that they've ever had cancer for some but really, like, a lot of you figured out, like, that's all it really was. And some of them tried to play it off as it could eventually turn into something else more, but you waited long, t a long time and it just never did. Someone could also be incarcerated or have went to jail before. Um, someone could be, I don't know. I don't know, Cancer. It's not the best energy here. There could have definitely been a third party situation going on or consistent cheating, not just once, with one person. It could have been multiple times. You caught them messaging other people, talking to other people. But they still wanted you, is the thing. Like, they, not just in a loving way, but just to have you as an interest, as an option. While giving into their other vices, their other desires, their other temptations. I don't think they really think that this is over yet. And it's just a matter of time before you come around. They're hoping that there's still some sort of codependency going on here. That truly this is something you can never really walk away from. But I think they have it twisted. You don't want a part of this. They still have help. What they like the most about you, Cancer, Four of Wands energy, Aries energy. Some of you could have Aries in your chart. I mean, that I feel for a lot of you, you did play the good partner, the good counterpart. You were someone that was devoted, caring, passionate. You wanted to see them happy. You did what they could to feel happy, to feel comfortable. Some of you were even married to this person if you weren't in a long-term committed relationship. Unless they were always just trying to string that on that one day it will happen, but it never really did. But you were loyal. You provided that foundation. And in some selfish, twisted way, I almost kind of feel that if it were to be anyone that they could sacrifice their selfishness for they would see the potential in committing to you but would they actually be as loyal to you as you are to them i don't know i feel as if someone parts their hair to the side i'm seeing that that could be confirmation for someone i also feel cancer with this four of wands energy for a while you looked at this through rose colored glasses 
you only saw the good in this, the happiness that I gave you, the small moments where maybe things were really nice, where they did. I feel like this person is very charismatic, very charming, and kind of, in a way, manipulated you into believing this fantasy that one two day you two will be happy together and one day oh you know I will put a ring on it or I've always just only think of you and all these sweet nothings and for a bit you believed it and you bought it some of you they thought that you would be a good home provider that you would make a good home that you would be a good mother or a good father in some way and that's what would keep the you know you would be like the rock and the foundation should you or if you were in a marriage with them what they don't like about you cancer ten of pentacles energy virgo energy again coming up so for some of you if you weren't married to this person because i do see some of you were but if you were not you wanted a commitment. You wanted something more for yourself. You wanted stability. You wanted dependability. You wanted that promise that wasn't fulfilled. That idea and that fantasy of that Ten of Pentacles, long-lasting, loving, stable, committed, even marriage. Now, others of you, I do feel if you have moved on to a potential new someone that you are feeling this person but you're still healing from whatever this person did to you in the past, they are not liking the fact if you have been in a new relationship at all. And it's not, I gotta be honest, it's not because you know they have true devotion feelings for you. I feel it's like, again, Cancer, they want you all to themselves. They don't like seeing you being a part of anyone. I gotta say it and I gotta be honest, it's a bit of a narcissistic energy I'm picking up on here. And although you may be withdrawn from them, although you may not be talking to them and you may even be doing no contact, they really think it's just a matter of time before you come around. Now, others of you as well with this Ten of Pentacles energy, um, I mean, you, they didn't like the fact that you just wanted something more stable, more giving, where you felt important, where you felt prioritized, where you felt just as, you know, supported as you supported this person. And they just weren't able to give you that. And they didn't think, you know, that, that was something that they should give to you. They didn't want to be a part of a long-term commitment or they didn't want to go through that normal, typical family life of developing a strong, stable relationship that was never on their priority, that was never something that they really considered but they sold you that idea. That's what I really feel. And you realize that was never gonna happen, so you moved on, you left for something or someone that would give you the Ten of Pentacles, that would honor you, that would love you, that would treat you with respect. What they like the most about this connection, King of Swords energy, Aquarius energy. Some of you could be connected to an Aquarius. You could have Aquarius in your chart. What I'm feeling from this Cancer is that in the point of the connection, they were always able to convince you or persuade you or use their words to get their way. They were fine with keeping things very upfront, blunt, they were cold, but they. this is like a controlling energy, someone that 
you know, felt like they can do whatever they wanted, but the second that you acted out of line or that you did something for yourself or questioned even what was going on, they would all of a sudden get very, very serious, very detached, very angry even. And some of them would use their words in a very cruel way or in a way to scare you. I, this is not good energy. I gotta say for others of you with this King of Swords energy, they like the fact that they still have means to research you, to keep an eye on you, to observe you, to see what you're doing. They do have their means. Whether that is them, I feel as if they almost send someone like their friends to check on you in a way. So be careful if you guys have mutual friends because I do feel like they're asking them about you. Um, others of you, it's like going through your social media. If you block them, again, they're making fake accounts. Others of you, like, they'll definitely, like, watch you in some way. This is kind of a weird energy. But they still have access into getting information about you, Cancer. Whatever that means for you. And they're definitely still watching and waiting and observing and holding back. But they're still holding faith that you're just going to come back. But they don't like the fact that you walked away in the first place with the Eight of Cups and what they don't like about the connection. Pisces energy. Some of you could have Pisces in your chart. Yeah, you had enough. You decided that you deserved more, that you wanted more, you crave more. Some emotional reciprocation, availability. And you finally had enough. You knew that there was something more for you. Something that had more potential. A new you, Cancer, came through in this connection. You know, although it was really, really difficult, although it was really, really hard, painful, you are not the same. And I feel, in a way, it's for the positive. You know your worth. You know your value. You know that you can move on. You don't have to stay bound to this. You don't have to stay stuck to this. That there's new opportunities elsewhere. I gotta say, even some of you have had kids with this person. You left with the children. Or some of you may have even left when you were pregnant. Or this, you left this person when they were pregnant with your child. I'm not really sure. That's a small hint I'm picking up for some of you. But you, you just walked away. And that was a slight in their eyes. But you don't really care that much anymore how they feel. You're just trying to heal. You're just trying to find recovery and love where you will be appreciated. Damn. I'm hearing night walks too. I don't know if you take a walk at the night or during nighttime. You just go out for like... A small walk around the neighborhood. Um, and especially if this person is like kind of very watching you still, be careful, Cancer. Just That's all I have to say. I think some of you really think this person's gone, but they're still watching. Highest hopes, nine of wands energy, Sagittarius energy again. So I feel this is some of your energy, Cancer. To be honest, that you're still going to hold your ground. You're going to be spiritually strong. You're going to fight for yourself. You're going to still put those walls up. Because again, you're a lot stronger than when you first met this person. Not to say that you weren't strong before, but again, like some of you believe this person's fairy tale of one day they'll finally be the person for you that you've been waiting for them to be. But you're listening to yourself. You're trusting yourself. Someone could also have red hair as well. But you're holding your ground, you're holding your boundaries, and you're staying strong with them. And I gotta say, they hope to break those boundaries. They hope to break that strength, and they hope to get you to come back in their life. That whatever your game they see that you're playing right now isn't going to last forever and isn't going to last long. Someone could also do belly dance or be a belly dancer. I'm seeing belly dancing type of vibes. If someone loves the way you move your hips or you love the way they move their hips, I don't know. 
the deepest fears, five of wands energy. Leo energy. Some of you have Leo in your chart. You could be connected to a Leo. So what I'm getting from this cancer, a couple things. For some of you, I feel you're, you, you know if you were to get into contact with this person again, it would just be a fight. This person could have been abusive. I'm so sorry if that's the case. And you just don't, you just know that it just would end up being in a fight and, or something bad could happen from just reconnecting with this person. So you're just preventing this at all costs. Others, you know, especially if you've moved on to another option or been deciding to finally start dating again, they, this person could get physical, okay? And this person may decide to just try to like beat out all competition maybe even spread rumors about you, lies about you, so no one would be interested in you or no one would want to have you. And be especially careful if you have mutual friends. And they still think about your ass, by the way. For the likely outcome of this situation, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link that will take you to the extended reading. But before we go, Cancer, different than the signs I've done, because this energy is pretty heavy, I'm going to ask Spirit what you need to know right now in love. Retreat. Yeah. Retreat. <laughs> Whatever you're doing with this hermit mode, continue to do it. Um, there's something so much better for you, Cancer, than this. And you know it, and that's why you left in the first place. And continue to just walk away. But then what it is safe for you to love. This is a special message from Spirit for you, Cancer. Don't let this person ruin who you were. That loving, caring, giving, kind, op you know, op optimistic enthusiastic person that you were and just because it didn't work with this person there was a heavy heavy karmic energy here going on heavy karmic energy but it's over now you paid your you learned your lesson you paid your debt to the universe you signed that contract sealed it off but don't close yourself off to love from other people I do feel that there's other people that are interested in you and even some for you got into a new relationship but it's still like you're learning to walk again almost from this experience with this person that was just so heavy and awful but Cancer, don't let this person ruin your future of love. Do the healing that you need but don't forget who you are and what you deserve in love because you deserve to be loved in every way. Wow, P heavy, powerful reading, Cancer. I love you, Cancer. I'm going to go ahead and take this to the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, just open up the description box and you'll find the link that will take you to Vimeo. If this is where we depart, Cancer, I hope you gain some insight and clarity and healing in this message. If you did, please let me know. Please drop a comment below. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.